Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum guys. Welcome back. Today we're going to make a chicken pilaf, a highly requested recipe. So we're going to make it in a very simple way. For that, I've got one whole one chicken that's been cleaned and washed. I've got three cinnamon sticks, one teaspoon of black peppercorns and one teaspoon of cloves. I've got about six black cardamoms. I've got one tablespoon of salt and there's about four five bay leaves and now what we're going to do is go pan on the heat i'm just going to add the chicken to that that goes in there and i'm going to add all these ingredients in there so just give it a stir and now to this i'm going to add one one cup of hot water in the kettle so i'm just going to add that That's, particular. That's it. I'm going to just cook this for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to put a lid on it and cook it for 10 minutes. And then I'll show you the next step of the recipe. Back on the chicken. It's been about 5 minutes now. I've had it on full heat and with the lid on. And now I'm going to turn the heat down to a low and cook it for another 5 minutes. It's been another 5 minutes now and the chicken is done. You don't need to dry the water. We'll use that while we cook the rice. So I'm going to take this off and I'll go to the next stage of the recipe. Now we need three cups of rice. I've used this cup. I washed them uh, half an hour before in cold water and then I've soaked it in cold water as well. There's about 12 cloves of garlic here and about two tablespoons of uh, dry coriander powder. I've blitzed it in a little blender. Two sliced onions, medium size. And now we go to the Pan. I've got it on heat. I'm going to put half a cup of oil in that. Just going to let the oil heat up a bit. I'll add some um, cumin seeds to that. So I'm adding about two teaspoons of cumin seeds in that. Slightly until it's a bit goldenish brown colour. You don't want to burn it. So I'm just going to mix that. Now I'm going to add the onions to this, put the gas on full and I'm going to brown these onions now until they are goldenish brown colour. Guys, yes, the onions have turned golden brown colour. I'm just going to add two teaspoons of salt in this. I've got a tablespoon of salt in the chicken and I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt into this. I'm just going to let the onions brown a tiny bit more. Get your lid ready. And now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water into this. Be careful because it's really hot. You put the water in because, because this is the color of the onion. And here the stir. Now I'm going to add the garlic to this. I'm going to add the chicken. So you get a ladle and just add all the chicken and all the masalas that you put in there just add it with it it's gonna give the flavor to the rice so i'm gonna brown this chicken now for about good five to six minutes in this onion mixture i cooked the chicken for about five minutes and it's got a beautiful golden color color on it now to this, I'm going to add the garlic and the coriander paste to it. This is my mom's little secret. It just changes the rice's fragrance and the taste. Let me know in the comments, in, in your family, do you use this in your rice? I'm going to cook this for about three minutes until all the garlic and the coriander has cooked down. The garlic and the coriander powder is cooked down. It smells really nice now. So I'm going to add the liquid that was left over from the chicken. One cup. So there's three cups of rice and you need to put six cups of water. I've boiled the kettle, so I'm going to start putting that in now. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. 
and six. I'm also going to put two teaspoons of garam masala in this. Guys, if you need a recipe for the garam masala, let me know in the comments and I could always show you how I make it. So I'm going to come, let this come to a boil and then I'm going to add the rice. So it came to a boil and I added the rice. I've drained all the water out of the rice and I added it to that. And now I'm going to just give it a slight mix. I'm not going to mix it too much and then the rice are going to break up. So I'm going to give it a good mix and now I'm going to put the lid on it and let it come to a boil. And then we're going to check the seasoning as well. It's been about two or three minutes with the lid on. I'm just going to take the lid off and just give it a stir. Make sure you don't stir it too much, then the rice starts breaking. So Now I'm going to give it a taste and check the seasoning. So I'll just take a bit of the liquid. I'm just going to add another teaspoon of salt because it's quite less. You can add the seasoning to your own taste. So I'm going to give it a mix. I'm just going to put the lid back on. You can see there's a tiny bit of water left now. And now we're going to put it to them. Or steam the rice. I've got foil on the lid. And I'm going to put that on top of that. If you put the foil, it helps to steam the rice. So I'm going to put it on a really low heat for about 15 minutes. And then I'll show you how it looks. So guys, I'm going to show you how to make a quick raita with the rice. It's really easy and simple. I've got one onion, a red onion, you could use a white onion. And I've got two tomatoes and a cucumber, half a cucumber. They're equal size, I've got them. To this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and chaat masala. You could use any brand of chaat masala. One teaspoon of that goes in there. I'm going to give it a good mix. some yogurt I put half a tub of yogurt in it and we'll see if we need any more to this now I'm gonna add some milk Just any milk you want I'm gonna add some to that there you go give it a really good mix now Bye. Go guys right that's done if you want to add more yogurt you can but i like it like this with more of the vegetables showing and now we're going to serve with the rice guys it's been about 15 minutes now i'm going to open the dump as you can see the rice are completely done now fluffy rice can you see the grains the rice hasn't broken up we're going to serve now i'm going to put it in the tray I'll just take some out. You should really try this recipe, guys. It's so easy to make. There you go, guys. The rice is made, and I've served it up with some raita and some chutney. You can uh, get the recipe for the chutney in my i i button. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And look after yourselves and take care of yourselves. And please let me know in the comments how you find my recipes and like the videos and subscribe to my channel and share them to your family and friends. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.